Fox Stanley, and uh, we have another great uh, review of what you think is going to happen. We have Manny Pacquiao, Congressman Manny Pacquiao, mm -hmm. going up against Juan Manuel Marquez, and this is uh, the fourth time that they're meeting, so they know each other. They should know each other pretty good. So do you have like a, a prediction of what you think uh, is going to happen? Just oh, just so you know, we had one draw in 2004. Mm -hmm. What in 2008 a split decision, decision. and uh, 2011 a majority. Uh, uh, decision, decision for Pacquiao. For Pacquiao. So uh, Marquez, he's, uh, I don't know if he agrees with all this, but he uh, says he's ready. And your thoughts on this, Doc? Well, always all praise and honor to Father God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's always great to be on the number one female sportscast in the world, uh -huh. the one and only, the loveliest, Crystal Hart. You know, he said something today. He said he felt he won all three of those fights. And a lot of people feel that out of the three fights, he should have at least got one, maybe one, two. Do they know each other? They probably know each other. Only their wives know them better than they know each other. Okay? <laughs> that, you know, uh, that's pretty good. That, that, that's a good I, one. It is. I mean, uh -huh. and, and the thing here is you look at how come this fight came about, and you say, well, that is the fourth time. And Mel Smith Jr. on, on my Blake Radio Sports Network show said, you know what? You can always see a good fight over and over. And this is why you're going to see it. It's a great fight. People think justice will prevail because a lot of people thought that, that Marquez had won some fights. I think this is the fight that if a Marquez is going to get, this is the one he's going to get. But he could solve everything by simply knocking out Pacquiao. And Pacquiao now is ripe to get knocked out. He's had some tough fights. I don't think his heart and soul is in boxing anymore. Psychologically, I think Manny Pacquiao is no longer there for a host of reasons. So therefore, the time is right or the best time possible for as far as Marquez justice to prevail. Once again... You know, only three guys ever unbeatable. The first Ali, Durant at 135, Ray Robertson at welterweight. But I would lean toward Marquez on this fight. Even though he's upset, he was promised that this fight would be in Mexico. And it's not, but, you know. Uh, yeah, he didn't want to fight in Las Vegas. Well, he, 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 he was told he was told that the fight was going to be in Mexico. But, you know, uh, Las Vegas is a lot closer to Mexico than it is to the Philippines. So maybe this time he'll, he'll get that break. But if, if, you, if I have to pick somebody right now, I'm, when my, even at the press conference, uh, first lady of, of sports television here, it, Marquez seemed to be the more f uh, 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 relaxed and determined fighter. Pacquiao seems to be just here. It's a business. I've got to be here. This is what I want to do. So it seems that between the two, even here at the press conference, which is the reason why I like Martinez besides being better, he just seemed to be more into it. He seemed to be th This is still about what he does. And I think Pacquiao is at the point is that what he used to do. And then, you know, you might have a little bit more scoop than I do, but 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 why uh, isn't Tim Bradley? I mean, when we last uh, were together with Pacquiao, he was fighting Tim Bradley. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of people felt that Pacquiao did get robbed on that fight. I, I don't know what your feelings is, but why isn't there a rematch with Tim Bradley? Have you, uh, did you hear? Well, I mean, or, the, the or? consensus was that, that uh, Bradley did lose that fight. I didn't see the fight, but, but People don't want to see Pacquiao Bradley again. You know, you won't get the kind of numbers for Pacquiao Bradley that you get for Pacquiao Marquez. Um, you know, the underlying thing is, are we ever going to see Mayweather and Pacquiao? And Pacquiao said today that he sees that possibly happen next year. Oh. The window is still open. It the is? door is still open. Oh, but well, that's a little hope there, fight yeah. fans. But there are things that are happening that, that may still make that a fight that we're not going to see. But more people want to see Marquez and... Pacquiao than Pacquiao and Bradley. Plus, you understand that Bradley is in-house. Bradley is a top-ranked fighter. You can always do Pacquiao-Bradley because both guys are in-house. But you have to jump at the opportunity to get Pacquiao-Marquez. And I've heard that this may be Pacquiao's last fight with top rank. So, therefore, the fight with the most money for top rank, the fight with the most visibility with top rank, the fight that's going to sell the best for top rank is Pacquiao and Marquez, not Pacquiao Bradley. Oh, you know, that would make sense because the last time I interviewed uh, Floyd Mayweather, he said that uh, he wouldn't fight Pacquiao until he left top rank. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that's what he did with Miguel Cotto right. also. So, you know, there, there, that could leave that possibility. And, and once again, your beauty and intellect because Cotto. Oh, well, thank you. you no, know, because you t Cotto is, is, well, it's no surprise. You can see it and you can listen to it. I mean, Cotto didn't fight Mayweather until he left top rank and right. it was after his last fight with top rank and this is the same thing with Pacquiao this should be from what I'm hearing Pacquiao's last fight contract wise with top rank so now as you said he's talking about 
Next year, the door is open, the freedom is there, the chains have been taken off, so maybe we'll finally see Pacquiao Mayweather. Okay, well, everyone, this is Saturday, uh, December 8th. It's going to be in Las Vegas. They said you better get your hotels uh, booked now. Uh, book now. now because uh, the rodeo's in town. So, uh, girls, there's a lot of cowboys. <laughs> yippee yay going to be there. Yeah. Well, and, and thing too, it's, I'm on my way. It's the, day, uh -huh. it's the day after Pearl Harbor, so December 7th, Pearl Harbor. December 8th, Fistic Bombs will go Marquez and Pacquiao. Okay, thank you once again, Doug Stanley. Love you. Thank you, Love dear. Love you too, girl. <laughs> thank you.